Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Tula with another new video of CSS SAP 2000 version 20. And uh, already we have started how to design a Z plus three story concrete building using SAP 2000 tutorial series. And this is our lecture four. And in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll define our mass source, then load pattern, load case, and load combination. Okay. So let's start and before starting i'm just requesting you if you're a civil engineer and also if you're new to our channel then obviously subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and also if you think that uh, that will be helpful uh, that will be helpful for you after complete the session then also you can share our video okay so first of all i'll just go here load pattern so from here we'll select that so that is dead load dead load dead load and one cell foot multiplier then i'll just consider floor finish and also that will be a dead load but uh, cell foot of self weight multiplier will be zero then add uh, add after that we'll consider partition wall and that will be also dead load but Self weight multiplier will be zero. And then add after that live load, and we'll, uh, actually we'll consider the two as a super. Uh, we can consider that is dead load. Okay, okay, it's okay. We'll consider that is dead load, and after that floor finish. Uh, sorry, I uh, will consider live load LL, and that will be live okay that will be live for floor f l l okay floor live load then i'll just click add then uh all another live load row live load and that will be add okay so uh, after defining row of live load, we will go for earthquake x direction. So from here we'll select quake. Okay, we'll uh, select quake, and from here we'll select any types of. From here we'll select any types of code as per our country. Okay. Actually, uh, I will show you about that in later. In another video, I will show that how we'll define our earthquake load here. Actually, uh, they have almost 10 video. Okay, they have 10 video that uh, where I have shown you about that how we'll assign earthquake load and how we'll assign also how we'll assign another types of load in tabs so actually this that processor same so here i am using asce 716 okay asc 716 and after that i'll just click and add new load pattern so kids okay after that i'll modify that modify lateral load pattern okay and here the most important thing we have to do here here you are seeing that here you are seeing the global x direction global y direction and eccentric ratio world down from 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 and uh, from here the value of here value they have different types of value okay and here we will use actually user defined the value t will use here and uh, if you have that value as per record pen then you can use that actually what is the technique here actually okay what is the technique here actually i have created almost five video about earthquake load analysis for a building and how we'll find out perfectly earthquake load okay so that video link are given in description i'll request to please watch that video okay and here what we'll do actually so when it's done here we have to give 0 0.2 second spectral acceleration ss and here is um 
one second spectral acceleration s1 actually what is that actually okay what is that uh here uh actually the s1 this is nothing but the seismic zone coefficient so i'll just give it 2.0.28 and here 0 0.2 second spectral acceleration ss that is nothing but 2.5 times of spectral acceleration okay sorry uh, i need to check that actually here is my excel sheet where i have uh, created i mean i have designed an excel sheet for earthquake load analysis and by using that excel sheet you will be able to analyze this perfectly right so here if you see that here the just what do you, what you have to change actually length l feet then width b what was the total length in feet what was the total width the number of s story okay, what was the number of s stories so here number of s stories uh, consider that uh, four okay and from here we can find out what will be the uh, number of length and number of width so um, we can find that value directly uh, from here that is we have to calculate that total distance i'm just calculating So here total length is 69.25 so if i click here 60 total length 69.25 feet and width what will be the width actually we have to calculate that width will be uh the total width will be 10 11 11 feet 2 inch right i'm oh, sorry 21.2 inch into one feet two inch so here i'll just input invert with 21 point i consider that um, 0 0.1 like that i'm just sorry 0 0.1 okay i'm just considering that like that actually it will be 0 0.12.5 1 to 5 sorry 1 to 5 like that so here our width number of history and this is the w what is the meaning of w actually actually we have to calculate the w what is that this is the seismic weight of that structure okay this is the seismic weight of the structure actually we will find out that data after one time analysis okay and that will be for our uh, 100 percent of i will actually what will be the weight actually 100 percent of dead load and 25 percent of live load just you have to simply calculate that how much load you are assigning and who, uh, there you have to take 100% of your applied dead load with self weight of that structure and 25% of live load right so yeah, the height above base okay here you have to give it the length and width and here height above base so what will be the total height above base i mean your structure so uh, our structure that is uh 10 uh 40 40 feet you know that our structure is 40 feet so it's done and here from here you have to select soil time by clicking here you have to select sa sbsc actually this is as per bnbc or as per asce 705 or asc 710 or as per aci actually our uh, bnbc code or almost same as asc 705 and 710 so from here uh, okay uh, that's okay now you have to select the town actually if you need that excel sheet i'll just give you that excel sheet absolutely free okay and you will i'll just give you that access okay i'll just give you that access and you'll be able to change your data from here what you need to change your data as per your country okay just see here here just you have to simply change in that box your data and you will be reuse that excel sheet so i hope if you need that okay i hope um, if you need that you can tell me for that so here the seismic zone all over the six uh, actually uh, this is 
you have to select i'm selecting town uh, dhaka then zone that, that is what is the zone actually it's okay and after that category which category is which category is structure one two three or four so from here you have to select category and from here you have to just change that in a, in blue box okay in blue box you just have to change actually i had created a video on it uh, in details that video link are given in description okay and here all data just here all data that are required here, okay all data that are required for our i mean to input here that is everything is available there okay so for uh, site class we we'll select simply f and after that we'll be we'll be able to modify that okay we'll be able to modify that from here right so and long transition period that is two and uh, fa fv uh here see here fa value of fa fv actually every data are available here as per asc 705 710 and as per uh, 716 also so you can use that data right so when um, it's done when it's done actually you'll be able to see your for uh, i mean your data here you'll be able to see your data here also right and in that red box you have to take your data so i'm i'm just not going to change that data at now i'm just cancelling that okay and i'm just deleting that because i will create separate two video for win load and also i created a excel sheet for win load and for earthquake load okay so i'll just create two another i mean two extra video for that and uh, i'll just discuss about that perfectly how much possible so when it's done i'll just click okay actually we have defined only that types of load right so i'll just simply click okay because uh, uh, i'm just doing that because we need the earthquake i mean the earthquake load or earthquake load of that a structure that are applied it on it and we need that okay so for our uh, full work that's why i'm just doing that i'm just not uh, assigning our earthquake and wind load at now okay so here actually we can do one thing that we can just uh, simply we can uh, i mean uh, simply we can defend that data after that in our next video we'll just modify that so what we'll do uh, so that of uh, course uh, in in that lecture i'm just going to show that how we'll assign i mean how we'll define our load combination that's why so at uh, quick x direction then here quick and from here we'll select asc 7 16 okay actually you can select any kinds of any kinds of code as per your requirement so i'm just selecting that then add after that y that will be okay then add after that uh, wind load x so from here i will select wind then from here again similarly i will select the wall the code are available i will select that code okay for wind otherwise i will select that 710 okay because i have a excel sheet for that one so it's okay add, add then w y then add so every types of load we have defined that are record and if you need to define snow then you can define the snow load okay so here actually it's not a big deal actually you'll get that data for snow that how, that how much then for c state you can select auto or non okay and uh, okay after that other or more that you record actually so everything is okay right so when it's everything is okay now I'll simply click okay ignore last edit yes so we have defined our wall load pattern after that we'll, we can go here for load case just see here here many types of load case many types of load case have created automatically right many types of load case have created automatically 
W X. Actually, this is this this have created for eccentric load, and uh, I'll work with that after completing that process. So okay. After that, here define load combination. So what about the load combination? You can add new load combo. Otherwise, we can select as per code. So at default load combination. Actually, what we are going to design concrete frame design. Okay, and uh, actually that's it. Concrete frame design, aluminum frame. Okay, and I will just. Okay, so here our wall load combination. Okay, here are all load combination that are available here. So I'll just simply click OK, and after that, finally we have to do one thing: that masters. Okay, we'll just. Uh, okay, here they have a masters. I'll just modify that. Here only one masters, and I'll go for modify then master one no need to give it one okay and i'll just element cell for it and additional mass so i'll just not i'll just use that as um, section specific load pattern so for dead load what will be it will be one add for floor finish it will be one for partition wall that will be one okay that is our dead load after that for Floor live load that will be 0 0.25. I mean 25% of live load. It will use as a mass source. And for roof live load that will be okay 0 0.25. Then actually as a mass source will not use that both because um when uh, in a roof will use that option and in our uh I mean in our floor i mean the uh, lower floor will use that option okay floor live load and okay it's okay and will not use the roof live load so it's okay now i'll simply click okay then okay so we have also defined our mass source perfectly so in that lecture that's okay and you know next two lecture i'll show you about that how we will assign earthquake load and how we'll assign wind load for our structure perfectly so till then still stay connected till next video thank you thank you very much still stay connected